वेलकम लर्नर्स टू द येट अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी जी डी एस एस इन टूडे सेशन वी विल टॉक अबाउट एस डी जी सिक्स दैट इज क्लीन वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट इट्स टारगेट्स एंड इंडिकेटर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई शैल इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ द टूडे सेशन इन टूडे सेशन we will learn about the necessity of water the details of sustainable development goals 6 linkage of sdg 6 with other sdgs aims of sdg 6 targets and indicators of sdg 6 why water matters as we all know that the earth is also known as the blue planet and it is because of the abundance of water on the earth more than 70% of the earth is composed of water however all this water is not fresh water and can't be drinkable so we can say in another terms that water is elixir of life because life is possible on earth because of the presence of water even if we talk about human body 70% of our body is composed of water water is necessary for biochemical reaction in all living beings whether it is photosynthesis digestion excretion circulation it is all related with water if we talk about water is essential for drinking purpose for sanitation and also for maintaining the personal hygiene water is necessary for agriculture sector for growing the crops we need water then for animal husbandry for raising the livestock we need the water for fisheries and aquaculture we need water and also for industrial production and all the economic activities we need the water so we can say the dependence of the human civilization is all dependent upon the water this can be also seen that all across the world the major civilization of the world they arose around the banks of the major rivers for example the harappan civilization they arose along the banks of river indus similarly we have the nile civilization if we talk about the role of fresh water in ecosystems then fresh water ecosystems they sustain large amount of biodiversity whether they have we if we talk about the rivers if we talk about the streams the lakes ponds and wetlands they sustain large number of biodiversity if we talk about the water the quality and the quantity of water they are very essential if we talk about water the we have to talk in terms of its quality and also its quantity okay now we will learn what is water quality if we talk about the water quantity because of the rapid population growth urbanization and uh, increase in the agriculture activities industry and energy sector there is increase in the demand of water and there is a term which is known as the water scarcity water scarcity is referred to as a condition where the demand of the water it increases or outpaces its supply so all across the world we can see that water quantity uh, basically is getting reduced and the water scarcity it's getting it's it basically increasing water quality if we talk about it is also suffering because of the various anthropogenic activities because of the pollution from various anthropogenic sources whether it is from industries from municipal household waste or also from agricultural waste or agricultural runoff uh, the water quality is getting suffered because of the use of pesticides in fertilizers which are referred to as agrochemicals in the agricultural sector the water quality is getting suffered now we will talk about sdg 6 that is clean water and sanitation 
and this SDG basically talks about the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. It emphasizes the integrated nature of water and sanitation. This SDG takes into account the water quality, affordability, accessibility and availability. It also focuses on the hygiene, treatment of the wastewater and water scarcity. This SDG talks about or emphasizes on equitable access of water resources. SDG 6 in all contains 8 targets and 11 indicators. It has 6 outcome targets which are from 6.1 to 6.6 .6, and the last two targets that is 6.A and 6.B they are means of implementation. The first two targets that is 6.1 and 6.2 they talk about water quality, equity of access and affordability of water. Target 6.3 highlights the importance of sanitation and wastewater treatment while target 6.3 to target 6.6 .6, they talk about sustainable withdrawal of water in all sectors, integrated water management, restoration of water related ecosystems and also regarding abatement of water pollution. Now we will discuss about in details the targets related to SDG 6. The first target that is target 6.1 it talks about achieving universal and equitable access to safe drinking water for all and it has to be achieved by the year 2030. The major indicator related to this target is proportion of population using safely managed drinking water services. If we talk about target 6.2, target 6.2 talks about ensuring access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene. It also talks about putting an end to open defecation and paying special attention to the needs of women and children women and girls especially because they are in the vulnerable situation if we talk about the case of india we have swachh bharat abhiyan which talks about ending the practice of open defecation and in this regard large number of uh, toilets they have been established all over our country so that the practice of open defecation can be stopped altogether. Open defecation malaise and it leads to large number of problems whether they are social problems or they are environmental problems. Uh, open defecation can lead to pollution, it can create unhygienic conditions and at the same time uh, it plays, uh, it is not good for the dignity of women and girls. So if we talk about uh, the indicators which is linked to target 6.2 the major uh, indicator which is linked with this target it talks about the proportion of population using safely managed sanitation services hand washing facility using soap and water the next target that is target 6.3 it emphasizes on reducing the water pollution therefore improving the water quality it also talks about minimizing the release of hazardous chemicals and waste materials into the water bodies and it also talks about uh, the reducing the proportion of untreated wastewater and safe recycling of the wastewater. As discussed previously, because of the rampant industrial activities and also intensification of agriculture and use of agrochemicals large number of chemicals they are released into the water bodies which can be harmful for human body and also for other life forms for example mercury lead asbestos lead arsenic cadmium 
these are some of the major heavy metals which are present in the water and they can lead to various diseases if this uh, polluted water it is consumed for example mercury it has high affinity towards the body lipid and fatty tissue and it get accumulated there and it can result in diseases such as Mina Mata disease. Similarly, there is a disease linked to cadmium, which is if present in drinking water, it can lead to Itai Itai disease. And arsenic can result in arsenicosis. So, besides this, there are radioactive chemicals, other kinds of uh, chemicals that are present in uh, the water which can cause various diseases in human bodies and also they can have long-term effect on the biodiversity aquatic and also on aquatic food chain if we talk about the indicators linked with this target there are two indicators which are linked to this target first is 6.3.1 which talks about the proportion of domestic and industrial wastewater that is safely treated and the second is proportion of bodies of water with good ambient water quality. Next is target 6.4. This target talks about increasing the water use efficiency uh, across all the sectors and it also talks about ensuring sustainable water withdrawals. This target, it also emphasizes on supply of fresh water to address water scarcity and reducing the number of people suffering from water scarcity. As discussed earlier, water scarcity is a condition where the demand of fresh water, it increases as compared to the supply. And water scarcity especially it is increasing in the sub-saharan african region and also in southern asia because of increase in the water demand but at the same time because of rapid urbanization and also because of the global warming and uh, variation in the rainfall pattern the water the groundwater recharge is substantially reduced and because of this the water resources they are not adequately getting recharged so water scarcity is increasing in these regions if we talk about the indicators linked to target 6.4 so uh, there are two uh, indicators which are linked with this particular target and the first indicator is change in water use efficiency and the second indicator is level of water stress that means it talks about the proportion of fresh water which is withdrawn as compared to the available fresh water resources next is target 6.5 the target 6.5 it talks about integrated water resource management at all levels because uh, most of the water resources they are transboundary in nature transboundary means many of the water resources they are shared by multiple nations for example if we talk about rivers many rivers they are transboundary in nature they flow from one country to another country for example river indus it flows from china india and pakistan so there are many rivers all across the world which are transboundary in nature and because of this there are conflict regarding the share, sharing of freshwater resources. Similarly in India also we can see that there are conflicts in various regions of our country regarding sharing of freshwater resources whether it is Kaveri water dispute which is related to the distribution and sharing of uh, water resources of river Kaveri which is between the states of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu or whether it is Satluj Amuna link canal issue which is in between the state of Punjab and Haryana. So 
this target basically talk about resolving the uh, transboundary issues related to sharing of water resources and at the same time it talks about transboundary cooperation between various nations so that the efficient water resource management can be carried out and this target has to be achieved by the year 2030. There are two indicators which are linked with this target. Indicator 6.5.1 it talks about the degree of integrated water resource management while indicator 6.5.2 talks about the proportion of transboundary basin area with operational arrangement for water cooperation. Then we have target 6.6 .6, and this target has been proposed to be achieved by year 2020 and it talks about protection and restoration of water related ecosystems which includes the forest, wetlands, rivers, aquifers, lakes and mountains. The indicator which is linked with this target is change in the extent of water related ecosystems. Then uh, the last two targets we will discuss them in detail. The first one is target 6.A which talks about expansion of international cooperation and capacity building related to developing countries in water and sanitation related activities and the programs. This include increasing the water efficiency, wastewater treatment, recycling and reuse technologies related to the wastewater, desalinization and water harvesting. So the indicator uh, which is related to the targets 6.8.1 which is talking about the amount which has been spent on water and sanitation related official develop in the form of official development assistance. Then we have target 6.b and this target talks about strengthening the participation of local communities for water related and sanitation related decisions and their short term and long term management. There is only one indicator which is linked with target 6.b and that is amount of proportion of local administrated units which are involved in water and sanitation related management. So in the end let us sum up what we have learned in today's session. Water is essential for drinking, sanitation and personal hygiene besides agriculture, fisheries industrial production and economic growth. SDG 6 aims at ensuring sustainable water management and sanitation for all. It consists of 8 targets and 11 indicators. Here target 6.1 and 6.2 emphasizes on water quality, equity of access and affordability of water resources while target 6.3 to 6.6 .6 they focus on sanitation, water pollution abatement, sustainable water withdrawals, integrated water resource management and restoration of water ecosystems. These are some of the references. Thank you.